Hi there guys, it's James here from Majestic Pinball YouTube channel. Thank you for stopping by yet again. Today we have a wonderful Valley Space Invaders which came out in 1980. They made 11,400 of these machines. It is a wide body machine, so it's quite a considerable amount wider than a normal pinball machine. The artwork on this is just absolutely stunning. There's so much detail. I'll do a flyover of the playfield so you guys can see some of the detail, but like they're just absolutely stunning beautiful artwork it's a very simple machine to play there's not a whole lot of rules obviously this came out in 1980 solid state pinball machines hadn't really been about too long so uh, the gameplay tends to be a little bit simpler but let's get stuck in on how to play valleys space invaders so the main idea of the game is to hit all of the space invaders um, so you have blue space invaders and red space invaders so the blue ones are on your top lanes up here in between these um, 50 point bumpers so you've got three lanes there you also have the in lanes to the smaller flippers here those both have a blue one rolling through all of the lanes at the top will light your um, clone chamber value on the middle lane so the clone chamber is this captive ball here every time you whack that up and it hits the target you increase the value by 10,000 uh, rolling through that lane when it's lit so you scored all three of the top rollovers rolling through that lane will score you the clone chamber value and that sticks for the whole game. Scoring all of the blue space invaders gives you an extra ball which will light either on the left or the right secondary in lanes which come down to the larger flippers. Making all of the red space invaders which you have on the targets up here, you can't really shoot for these, it just kind of has to bang around off the bumpers but you have one on each of these targets here and then the centre target there. Shooting all of the red space invaders will give you 20,000 on the red invader bonus, so that increments. That stays for the entire game as well, so when you drain the ball, I believe it gives you that every single time as part of the end of all bonus. To build your bonus, which is this line of lights here, um, you basically hit any invader, any drop target. You have another target over there. I think shooting the loop as well increments it by three. Every now and then, much like in the actual arcade machine Space Invaders, you'll get the uh, little spaceship UFO thing go across the top of the screen. Um, this machine does a very similar feature, so you'll hear like the UFO sound and you'll basically have the mystery ship shot here light up very briefly. It doesn't light for very long, it's really hard to hit. Um, but whenever you hear the noise, basically aim for this shot here. Either hitting down that target will give you the spaceship award, which is 50,000, and then it will roll through back into the shoot lane. Hitting that switch in the shoot lane will score you your end of ball bonus. So whether you've got the target down or whether it's up, shooting through that shot or the target will give you the mystery ship once it's lit. You have another three drop targets over here on this side. That increments by uh, five, starts at 10,000, sorry increments by 5,000 every time until it gets to special which would normally be a free game or you can get it set to an extra ball depending on however you want the machine to be set and that is about it so let's get on with some gameplay So that's the mystery ship. And it's gone, doesn't give you very long at all to shoot for that.
So that's going to be the little inlet now for um, clone chamber. Got some extra ball left on the left. And a tilted. <laughs> it's got quite a sensitive tilt, this machine. So let's go for another game. There we have it, that was Bally's Space Invaders, released in 1980. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like, leave a comment, let me know if you've got a Space Invaders or if you've played one, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.